Good morning, and welcome to your Friday Faith Philip. I want to talk this morning for just a few minutes about the book of Judges, chapter 6. We're familiar with the book of Judges where every man does that which is right in their own eyes. They have their own uh, uh, moral compass, if you will. And that really does fit into our society today. So there's a lot of things in the book of Judges that are uh, comparable. But, but I think we ought to look a little bit more inward, not, not necessarily to society, but look at our own selves. And we find somebody that kind of gets to that place in Gideon, where I think we're familiar with the story of Gideon. But I want to look at the beginning of the story of Gideon. The Midianites are oppressing the people of Israel because they had gone after other gods. And as a result, the Midianites came in and uh, were burning all of their crops as they harvested them. If you could imagine putting all the effort in and bringing it in, and after they brought it in, that's when the Midianites would come in. And the Israelites were afraid of them. They were hiding in, in mountains and in caves and in strongholds, the Bible tells us. And so the Lord comes to Gideon. Uh, and, and addresses him and says that the Lord is with thee, the mighty man of valor. And uh, here, here's a, a guy that's working in the field, and that's been his life, and that's what he does, and that's what he's familiar with. And the Lord uh, refers to him as a mighty man of valor. Gideon's response uh, is very interesting. In verse number 13, and Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? If the Lord is really here, why are we being treated the way we are? Why are the Midianites against us the way that uh, we are? And he goes on, and where be all his miracles, which our fathers told, of, told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hand of the Midianites. And really, in a sense, we can find that uh, he's blaming God for the situation that, that Israel is in. He says, we know the story. We know what God is capable of. He's talking to the Lord. We know what you're capable of. We've heard the stories, how you brought us out of Egypt. But now everything that I'm looking at, everything that I can see in front of me says that you have forsaken us. Well, we know that God hasn't forsaken them, but they've gotten themselves into this situation, haven't they? They turned their back on God, which takes me to an interesting thought that that uh, it wasn't God that left them, they left God, and they went after other gods, and they were following after other gods, and, and forsook him, and, and they quickly could turn, and even Gideon could turn and say, well, you forsook us, well, that's not really the case, and we can many times have that same attitude when we're going through uh, a trial, maybe through the chastening of the Lord in our lives, when he's trying to draw us back to him, and bring us back into fellowship with him, uh, we could look at the situation, the circumstances that he's using to do that and think that God has forsaken us. But can I just tell you throughout the book of, of Judges that we see that God's mercy is shown to those people time and time and time again when those judges would come on the scene, Gideon being one of those, that, that it was God's mercy that he called a man named Gideon to come and to deliver them out of the hands of the Midianites. And so God didn't forsake him, but that sure was what it looked like. And, and as he uh, looked at the, the situation and knowing what God was capable of, he wondered why God hadn't done all of the things that he had done. Well, this is something that's very powerful. And, and Lord will, and I'll mention this next Friday, but in the next verse, the Lord tells him, go in this thy might. There was a, a, a truth that I think he had gotten a hold of uh, in that. I think sometimes when you say something, and uh, when you've got it in your head and it makes sense, but when you say it, you have a better understanding of it. I think when he's talking about God forsaking uh, uh, them, that he's looking around and realizing why they are the way that they are, why they're in that situation, and it's because of themselves. So we need to look inward, I think, in this one, that we need to look and say, you know, maybe the Lord might be chastening me for something, and, and I'm getting frustrated with him. Listen, God's mercy, God's love is upon us. Hebrews chapter 12 tells us this, that he, he chastens those that he loves. Now that's good there. And we find with Israel that he loved them and he chastened them so that he could bring them back to the place where they ought to be. Well, I hope this is a blessing to you. We'll see you on Sunday morning.